All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're gonna to be talking about SVOL, known as Simplify Volatility Premium ETF. And they're gonna be traded on the NYSE ARCA. So the overview here states that the Simplify Volatility Premium ETF, SVOL, seeks to provide investment results before fees and expenses that correspond to approximately one-fifth to three-tenths, 0.2x to 0.3x, the inverse of the performance of the CBOE Volatility Index, VIX, Short-Term Futures Index, while also seeking to mitigate extreme volatility. And they go on to say that we believe many traditional sources of income are failing to meet investor needs in today's low-yield environment. SVOL aims to provide an attractive income stream and source of diversification while seeking to avoid risks inherent in other income-producing asset classes. Um, it also goes on to say that in pursuing its investment objectives, uh, the fund primarily purchases or sells futures contracts, call options, and put options on VIX futures. Um, and then some of like their top holdings are pretty much in United States Treasury bills. Um, again, you can uh, check it, check out all of their holdings and the different percentage breakdowns um, within their website. It gives a little bit more information as to um, you know the, the breakdown of their whole whole portfolio. All right, so for the dividend history here, we can see that their dividend yield is coming in at eighteen point one five percent, and again, that's going to be a monthly dividend payout as well, which is always nice. Uh, currently, SVOL is trading at $21.75. Their 52-week low is $20.55, and the 52-week high is $24.81. Um, again, this ETF hasn't really had a, a lot of you know historical trend or data. They're pretty new to the market, um, only being a couple years old. So that's something to note as well. As far as historical performance, um, you know, it, ha it hasn't been around for that long, so it's hard to say how they're gonna, you know, do within the future, things like that. Um, they have been, you know, kind of trending down uh, the past, you know, year to two years. Um, so that's something to kind of keep an eye on. Uh, but again, that that yield, well over fifteen percent, is going to be a monthly dividend payout as well. Um, so that's pretty interesting too, but again, with that much volatility um, and that high of a yield, it's it's almost a, a risk reward question at that point. Um, you know, just to see how how the stock's playing playing out. But again, it's it's coming in at that fifty two week low mark, um, just above that. So it'll be interesting to see how the rest of twenty twenty three plays out for them. Um, as we're just ending the first quarter. All right, so for the final rating here for SVOL, I'd probably have to give them around a seven. Um, I do like how high their dividend yield is, uh, plus uh, their dividend yield is also um, paying out each month, so that's something to you know keep note of. At the same time, um, they've had you know, decent volatility within their, their stock price. They have trended down ever since 2021 or late 2021, I'd say in the early 2022. Um, so that's kind of something to keep an eye on. Uh, you know, they haven't been around for that long. So again, it's one of those things where are they gonna, going to keep that dividend yield this high? Um, is that going to be a consistent dividend payout as well? Uh, but but again, I I would keep my eye on it for the rest of 2023 to see you know is the is the stock price fl fluctuating a good bit? Um, are they able to kind of maintain that um, 20 to 25 dollar range uh, as well as what what their what their yield is and how much that that is changing as well? But again, guys, drop a comment down below. Let me know if there's you know a specific company that you guys want to see a future video on. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, share the video with a friend. Uh, but without further ado, I will see you guys in the next one.